cafe anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 2446, 2446. We have a special guest today. Look who it is. Everyone, wait. I'm saying Mike's Daily Podcast. Say hello, lovely lady friend. Hello. There she is. She's showing up on this podcast and doing the podcast biz and she's going to talk about something because her mouth is opening and she says things out of her lungs and her larynx and all that it's amazing in her brain how do you like being on the podcast so far (laughs) i'm excited though (laughs) it's been a while you actually have headphones on this time look at that oh that's right daily daily Podcast. So you can listen to the actual singing. Yeah. Yeah. We're at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. And I, it has been a busy week. Love, you have been working nonstop. I cannot stop with the working because of my company is changing all the radio equipment and it requires a lot of work on my end, basically. So I'm doing a lot of that, and I'm I, I I've been working six days a week, like the Beatles song. But hopefully, this is a short-term investment, right? Of blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. For long-term return. Yeah, it'll be once it's set up. It's gonna be easier. Much easier, yeah. In fact, I had to jump in there today, even though one of the stations has been converted so far, and I had to do a little finagling, and I totally, it, it's so user-friendly. It was so easy to, to use, but actually... So even I could use it? Yes. it's It would be lovely lady friend friendly. friendly? Because I have the kiss of death. <laughs> When it comes to anything technological, I swear. Aww. My recent trip to the library. Oh. Here's oh. today's podcast picture. The podcast, podcast pictures picture. of her recent trip to the library. <laughs> Did you take a picture from your recent trip to the library? Of me trying to stomp on the printer? <laughs> Was that captured in photo? <laughs> Incriminating evidence? And you can see it now at mikesdailypodcast.com. <laughs> Do not put it in the forum of Podcast Row Valley. Oh, the, the the newspaper? The forum. The forum? Like the overall metaphorical forum? forum? Do not put the picture. <laughs> Do not put the picture in the forum. Oh. Of, of my incriminating... Oh. Right, Basil? See, he's... he. Oh. <laughs> he, he just ran away with them. Oh, he ran away with the pictures? He did. He took or, or them the, out of my hands. We walked with him... Uh, I know I I don't know if you and I did, but I know I walked with him to the library many times, and I remember a couple times tying tying him up outside <laughs> as I had to use the restroom or run in, and um, I think they they libraries rent out movies. I don't know. Do they still? Yeah, I think they do. And wasn't there some app that you use to uh, go? You, you, there was an app you had that allowed you to stream movies, almost like Netflix, that was through the library. Yes. But I think it was only on your phone. So I th- yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever used that. Then, there, what's wrong with your... You're looking at your ankle. I just had an itch. Sorry. An itch? Did a mis- I'm like a cat. You are. <laughs> You're constantly distracted by anything, everything. What happened was... So movies, you tied Basil this outside. Podcast, this podcast is a cat. It should be a podcat. It goes everywhere. It gets distracted. I like that. No, I'd go in and rent movies. Ah. i go to the library and, oh, no, you know what? I... I may have done that once or twice, but I definitely rented CDs. You can get audio yes, CDs. I did that. I remember the last one that I got was the Funky Meters. What? You the never meters. told me this. The Funky Meters? What's yeah. that? 
Well, no, 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 no. The, the, it, the group is the, called the Meters. It, it's it, the Meters. Oh. You know, they um, they all ask for you. Yeah. They all ask for you. And then they have like a, a hunt. Oh God, funky toot, funky swag. <laughs> they're very funky. I think they're from New Orleans. Nolans. Ah, Nolans. Mm-hmm. And I. And I think they were back like. 70s or 80s the meters let's find out mike's gonna do a little search actually uh, the way i've configured everything here at cafe anyway i can't seem to reach reach my classic desktop interface (laughs) oh it's a little difficult but anyway you were cafe anyway you were trying to make copies at the library and there, I think I've situated At myself. At the library, yeah. And I always, something always happens with me in technology and people will be like, oh, this never happens. And to me, it's not unusual because it always happens to me. <laughs> like, whatever is not supposed to happen or never happens, happens with me all the time. So. The unexpected. The unexpected. Happens. Yeah. Yeah. But I got my copies. Oh, good. I wasn't leaving without my dang copies. Yeah, because you were taking a class and you needed yes, that needed the, the papers. And I have to say, you, I feel bad that I, I have not, uh, I do not have at cafe anyway, a copy machine, a uh, printing machine. Oh, that's there's okay. there's that. Over there, but it doesn't print. If you try, cafe anyway doesn't have to have a printer. <laughs> if you put a stack of papers in there, it it just shoves them all out like nothing gets printed on there. I've changed the ink on it. It just it has all kinds of problems. The meters was with George Porter Jr. They were from New Orleans, Nolens from 1965. 60s. And the drummer's name. Was Zigaboo yes. Modaliste. Yes. And he later had his own band. And Matthew, Steph's husband, was a guitarist. Oh, your friend. Them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I actually saw them perform at, um, one, I can't remember, but it was uh, one of those, um, is it a pub or something? And up in Fairfax, remember we walked past it that time yeah. we were there. there was like a party in there the couple that asked us if we <laughs> if we wanted oh if, not, yeah the yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> the guy <laughs> no wait you're making the sound that more salacious really, than it is yeah, that did sound really bad the guy had a had a cannabis store yes and they asked if we wanted if to come by if we wanted by. some samples we did not we did not stop by but you that remember yes you remember that Italian restaurant we were at yes uh, and the this lights is, went out this is during and we're starting to smell smoke in the air again in the Bay Area so this is very reminiscent of that that's right that whole trip but it was we were sitting in the restaurant and all of a sudden they cut the power to all of the North Bay and we were in the dark and they came out with little candles and they said, you can still eat here. You can still use your credit card because we've got the old style sliding credit card uh, paper type old old style. And we talked to this couple right next to us and you and that lady, you were like sisters <laughs> after after we ate and went through this uh, ordeal which is typical isn't it psychological when you go through an ordeal it makes you closer bonding it, there's the bonding trauma bonding <laughs> trauma bonding which is the name of my new band <laughs> trauma bonding but the meters my love the meters the meters they were back up they actually performed uh, as backing musicians for Robert Palmer. Oh, get out! Might yeah. as well face it, you're addicted to lo- yeah. I did back not in know the that. early days. And okay, so. Well, look at that. So that was mm, the last CD that I borrowed from the library, uh, and I did return it. Oh, good. Unlike other books that I haven't returned. Uh oh! <gasps> wait, what? I didn't say that. She didn't say that. 
What is said here at Cafe Anyway stays at Cafe Anyway. Anyway. And on the podcast, Mike's Daily you know, Podcast. Can we Somewhere do a in poll Podcaster Valley. of your listeners? Yes, please. How many people have... Have you ever... Have you ever... Not returned... Is that grammatically correct? Have you ever not returned a library book? Have you ever forgotten to return a library book? Thank you. Back to the library. <laughs> and... And then just it sat there and sat there and who knows Years. how much the fines. Yeah. Sometimes libraries do this forgiveness day, debt forgiveness. They go very Bono and do debt forgiveness. Remember when Bono of U2 was all about debt no. forgiveness? No. And he was trying to get Bill Clinton. Into, wow, I am going back. I was talking about Bill Clinton there. Wow. During I think it was during his presidency. but Or maybe, right. Yeah. Obama maybe I knew it was a, I think it was a Democrat president It was not The latest one Love Yes I want to talk about Something here About the uh, into, do, we, do we Sum up the whole Library thing I think so, so In I, a very roundabout way Yes I used to tie Basil up There as I went inside And had to Either use the restroom Or get a book Or or no, I never got a book. I would get a CD or a DVD, and people do that to this day. There are still DVDs, a bunch of DVDs at the library closest to where I work in Fremont. Oh my gosh, they got an amazing selection. And you go into the library these days. There's there's like nobody there. Well, that one anyway. So I need to. I'm thinking about renting all of uh, Sleepy Hollow, which was this. Oh, you know, I never watched that show on. Was it on Fox? I don't know. It's goofy. It's got like the ghost of George Washington, and it's modern times, and there's Ichabod Crane and witches. And okay, stuff. okay, I could do that. I could do that. How many seasons? Four. I could do that. But on DVD, so. It's a lot easier to take a break when you've got a DVD. You Do don't people still use DVDs, love? I mean, they're not they're not going the way of like, you know, rotary dial phones, right? Well, most computers they- do not have the little drive that pops out. That's crazy. Most laptops don't have it. It's just the they, newer ones, yeah. yeah. How about cars? Do they still have CD drives? A lot I don't think they do. The little slot. Love, I feel so old. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that long ago when cars had CD players. My car is like a 2010, which I bought used in 2020, but it has a CD player. So, it's We're going to go to the library (laughs) and get some DVDs. And it's free. (laughs) <laughs> and love, you don't. So it begins. You're love. less apt to binge watch the with the DVD. With the DVD, I beg to differ. Well, you can only go so far, right? Then the DVD stops. Don't underestimate the power of my ADHD hyperfocus. <laughs> oh, but it's so much more. <laughs> if you've got like 20 seasons on Netflix, you're going to be watching that all the way through until Netflix goes, are you still watching? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> A week later. <laughs> are you alive? <laughs> what the? I mean, we don't even really want to ask that question because we're charging you more and more and more. For your yeah we, uh, monthly fee, but wa- watching. Looks, they're also cracking down on password sharing. On password sharing, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, now back to my thing. Also, internet related is that uh, J- John Oliver went on a rant about Apple and Alphabet, which is Google, and Amazon. So the three A's. And part of what he had the complaint about with Apple was that they charge anybody who creates an app that they're trying to make money on, they charge them some crazy amount of money. Uh, in fact, Netflix has some way of skirting that by telling you, oh, they have some way- weird way of having, if you want to watch Netflix on your Apple phone, on your iPhone, they have some way of getting around it so that they save money. But the Amazon... Jeff Bezos doing all these 
awful knockoffs <laughs> of other people's yeah. stuff that sells good. Yeah. And then he, he undercuts them and he puts people out of business. And then Google, they stole like a bunch of people from, or, you know, clicks from Yelp and all this stuff. But what John Oliver says is, He's talking about all this stuff and he finally says, but I think the main thing we need to think about is that people don't like to scroll. Mm-hmm. Like when you, Google knows when you do a search, they put everything at the top that they own when you look at a search. Yeah. And that, because they know people aren't going to scroll down. Why are we so lazy? That There must be some kind of like cognitive bias in that, like. Why don't we like to scroll down? And in and in restaurant searches, they bury Yelp. They don't let you let huh. Yelp have like the top two pages or something. They just bury, yeah. So people don't really scroll down and go. That, like that's the problem with this podcast. Is I mean maybe this podcast I don't know. It would do better if if some of these people pushed me up to the top of the search but you know I'm like buried down really far Lovey, it? I will listen to your podcast thank you always I'll be like a mermaid that swims to the bottom of the ocean uh -huh. floor uh -huh. to bring up some buried treasure all like little pearls and stuff yeah oh thank you that's me and your podcast <sighs> That's all I care about. That and that nice lady in that some of that country far, far away that apparently they made a statue for me in their little village. Oh, that's right. That was very nice of her and yeah. the village to do that. <laughs> it's very interesting. Love, you're famous overseas. So basically, John Oliver was ranting about how they are monopolies and you got to be careful of monopolies and the game. Because it's boring. It's so, it's such a tricky, tricky, I mean. Slippery? It's slippery, tricky Is it a slippery, thing. tricky thing? I mean, human beings, we are complacent and they know this about us mm -hmm. and they exploit it. I, like we do whatever is going to be like the path of least resistance. Exactly. And if anything is going to take a little bit more effort, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> So it really does require, like, even though cognitively we know that these things are important to do, mm -hmm. it's so hard. I, I mean, I put myself in there. I, I don't always scroll either. It's like I find what I need. Bam. <laughs> buy now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like the buy now button on Amazon. Yeah. You could just easily scroll down. Yeah. And down below, there's going to be links to, like, whatever you see. Other vendors. Right. Oh, this is this is uh, uh, $50. But if you scroll down, there are people selling the same stuff for cheaper. Yeah. Or even, like, be... not even buying on Amazon, right? Like, mm. I, it's so easy to do. It's just everything. I mean, it really is just, like, the, like this marketplace for everything. And so then if you want to support local businesses or smaller, you know, lesser known owners, you got to do work. Does Amazon own Etsy? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But see, Etsy, that's, I don't know. Do they? I don't know, but. Let's ask Google. <laughs> or uh, no, actually, what was the other Bing. one? Bing. Bing. Yes. Bing. You, Bing, like Bing Crosby, which you can, and I've been using Bing forever, for at least seven years. And if you sign up with an account, you get points whenever you do a search, which you can put towards buying an Amazon card, <laughs> which I've done. Wait but, a second. <laughs> yeah. But you can also buy, well, it's a lot of Microsoft, since Bing is owned by Microsoft, it's a lot of Windows, Microsoft oh. stuff. Or occasionally you get a Starbucks card. There's there's some things you can get. But heck, heck you're taking money out of Google's hands, which I just did a whole thing about how the Google, because we have Android phones, which is Google, mm -hmm. and if you try and use the Google, Google, the Google <laughs> and don't forget, if, if Google is, I made a bunch of bad Google jokes no. last night. Remember that? I yes, was and now I don't remember them. 
<laughs> if you're a ghost, if you're a search engine run by ghosts, you're Boogle. You're Boogle. <laughs> okay, nobody knows this until I point it out. The computer just crashed <laughs> and I erased the... Uh, we lost all the stupid other Google jokes. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one, though. Um, if you're a search engine run by cows, you're Moogle. Okay. Well, you were talking about something that had to do with... Oh, Bing. Bing is definitely a way that take money out of Google hands. And then you get, like, rewards if you use Bing. Um, I've used it for, ironically... Amazon cards, but you can also use it for other things. It's mostly Windows stuff, but there's like some food places, Starbucks and Panera and that kind of thing. All right. This is what people need to do, my love. They need to create their own websites and compete against these big behemoths. Bo behemoths? Behemoths. Behemoths. Um, there is a... You should choose the perfect domain, get web hosting and free domain registration, and there's various people that do that, uh, and the rest of this is a big ad. So there you go. That was... <laughs> Use us! <laughs> uh, so I have a website, and I'm thinking about changing my service, that I, service provider for the website, because I've had them now for about 10 years, and I probably could pay less but they are very helpful when things go wrong they can fix stuff so what do you think with that would you ever start your own website my love probably not but that's just me love I, I, I don't I don't like to have an internet presence no you want to <laughs> no. stay in the shadows I do <laughs> what we do in the what shadows what we do in the shadows yes Okay. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I just, that, but that's just me. Maybe it's my introvert side. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, the idea of people that I don't even know, yeah. knowing anything about me <laughs> feels extremely, I just invasive. Yeah. yeah. And it like literally, I like I feel it in my body. It's like painful. I don't like it. And in your profession, it'd probably be better because you're helping people and it would. Uh, well, yeah, for confidentiality. Yeah. It's part the of the less business. less people know of me, the better. Well, but, I mean, for marketing purposes. Yeah, a little bit. That's a thing, right? You have to <sighs> do a little bit that's of the, dilemma. the advertising. Mm -hmm. And the internet seems to be a big way with that. Well, we're outside a cafe anyway, even though it's gotten very quiet out here. Because of has. our very profound subject. Look, look who's here. Hello, my fancy is Shelly Stewart, oh. Tips Jeff Supervisor. Oh my gosh, hi, lovely lady friend. How are you today? Hi, Shelly, it's been a while. I use the internet to advertise stuff in my gift shop. Oh, okay, like what? I sell masks now. Okay, do you make them yourself? I do, I make them, and they help fight COVID, and also they scare people. <laughs> oh, do you have, like, scary uh, face masks? I'm not going to tell, because everyone's going to steal masks. my idea. Oh, okay. All right. Well, where can I find them? In the gift shop. Uh, <laughs> Go to the She's gift like, shop. Uh, are in, you selling them on the Etsy as in well? In the cafe anyway, please. Okay. No, I don't know what that is. All right. Sure. I gotta go. Bye. All right. Bye. Remember when we were flying to, I forget where it was. Yes. But... The guy that had the skull face yeah. mask. Yeah. Yeah. He Remember was, that? Yes, he was scary. <laughs> I just realized I've had echo on your point. voice the whole show. Uh oh. Yeah, check this out. Okay, say something. Well, I'll let me let me demonstrate. Let's see if this works. If this this oh is, here it is a little bit. Can you hear the echo in my voice? Yes. There's a little bit of that. Mm hmm. Isn't that cool. Mm hmm. I forgot that this mixer can do that. Uh -huh. Here, you do it now. Here, ready? Go ahead. <laughs> it's frozen, love. Ah ha 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 Okay. That's having fun with the Oh, that's really big. Oh, my oh I forgot about this part of the mixer. What? We're doing one of your ads, love. I feel like I'm back in the cave up in Shasta. 
Halo. Okay, at this point people are going, I'm turning this off. This is stupid. Uh, at this point? <laughs> no, when I was a kid, my mom bought me a record from it was called the uh so Disney would bought a lot uh, Disney sold a bunch of records. They saw that kids or parents would buy records for their kids and of course they saw how big in the music industry, you know, the Beatles were selling records and all that. So Disney made this thing called the Mickey Mouse Club. No, the Mickey Mouse Factory or something like that. And so it was like a uh, Chip and Dale had a song, Chip and Dale. Da -da 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 -da. They had a song. Not but this is way before the song that you remember as a kid oh. that they had recently. Okay. That isn't there some new movie with Chip and Dale? Um where one of them is CGI. We saw oh, a commercial yeah, for you that. You showed it to me. Yeah. But there was one with Scrooge McDuck. Yes, Scrooge McDuck is a very old character. That's how far back he goes. I remember him as a kid. Yeah. And he's like, I am traveling now into the echo chamber. <laughs> I remember him saying that. I think he was voiced by the late, <laughs> oh, the Haunted Mansion voice guy who was also Boris. Mm. I forget his name. Anyway, so yeah, we have echo effects on here, and this is the first time... That's cool, love. ...we've used them on the you show. with it. And I've had the podcast now for over 10 years, and Maybe I first time... our next guest can also use the echo. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman! <laughs> and this is John Deere, the engineer. Wait, Floyd, say that again. Say what again? The, the thing you just said. Oh... This is Floyd the Foreman! <laughs> and this is John Deere the Engineer. Wasn't that cool? That was cool, guys. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what just happened! <laughs> He's falling into the upside down. <laughs> <laughs> what are those creatures called that look like flowers? With the oh, teeth? Like scary flowers. Yeah. Uh, Demogorg? Yeah. Demogorgon? No, Dem... I don't know. Something like that. So, the person that I love to follow on YouTube. Yes. The carpetbagger. He went to the Stranger Things experience in San Francisco. <laughs> Sorry. Do not cough over me on my podcast show. I and covered my mouth. Thank you. It was very polite of you. <laughs> did you wear one of Shelly's masks? I did. Mask masks? I did. So while Carpetbagger was in San Francisco, somebody broke the window of his car, broke into his car. Is oh, that not so San Francisco yeah, now? Oh, yeah, you told me about it. Th so it's, it is just, that is this part of the San Francisco experience now. The, you get some right, San Francisco rice. You get a different <laughs> San Francisco treat. Rice. You get some uh, uh, sourdough bread. And then you get your car you broken ride, into. You ride on the, uh, you the cable, cable car. cars. And you get your car broken into. Because that has Lovely. happened now to my favorite uh, carpetbagger travel guy. And I have to tell you, my love, the only reason why I watch those people now is because of the dang pandemic. I got hooked on them. I think a lot of other people did, too. Although I did, I did like travel magazines when I was a kid, like travel and leisure and stuff. I like to see pictures from faraway places. Now you got a YouTube, yeah. and if you have it through your flat screen, your big screen, it's like you're suddenly. Yeah. Where was I watching today? They went to Denver. This Adam Wu guy went there, and yeah, with his dad. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. What is it that you like about those kinds of shows, love? Like these travel vlogs and travel magazines. What is it that you like about them? I'd like to go there someday. Have I'm... you gone to some of the places that you've seen? Yes. Or read about? Yes. In fact, Carpetbagger was in Santa Cruz. Oh, yeah. I've had yeah. pictures of Santa Cruz yeah. before. You and I went there. Where would you like to go next? I... I told you yesterday, I want to go up to Napa. I want to go up there. Okay. All right. But I'll go to Shasta. 
I'll go to Shasta. <laughs> Should I include a podcast picture of Shasta? One I, of your podcast pictures? I've, I've already it, had a couple of them now. Um, if you want, sure. Okay, we'll go with one of those. We'll have to go to Napa and yes. get some pictures there. Anywhere I go with you is where I want to go, oh, as long as you're love. there. My love, I would love to take you to um, a place that does mud baths. I don't know if they still do them now, but... I'd love to see you in a mud bath. <laughs> you are so sadistic. <laughs> no, I would do it too. Yeah? Those Is things it, are the best. It's good? Oh, you feel like you're in, I mean, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like this warm, soft, mushy womb. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe it. So I'm going back. Uh, I'll re- be reverting yes. back to something from my childhood, my babyhood. You'd be reborn. Wow. Born again. Born again, In Mike. a different way. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, my love. Maybe we'll do that. And maybe I'll regret it and maybe I won't. I don't know. Do you but... have any particular places in Napa that you'd like to visit? Mm. I was thinking of that geyser thing okay do you i mean is our uh, wineries a thing for you do you like yeah that? okay but you know we need to have like a train or something taking us from winery <laughs> to winery because i don't want to be driving we'll be stumbling yeah mm-hmm. it's it one wine tasting session and you not not even half of a wine tasting session you shouldn't be driving yeah i agree with the amount they give you Okay. That, All right. Well, I will keep this in mind. So two pe- two things people got to tell us about. Where we need to go in Napa. Yes. And what, uh, how have you ever not returned a book to the library? Yes. That we want to hear from you. We're waiting with bated breath. Also, if people have any suggestions of where to stay, there's this one place in Yauntville. It was actually the place that I had booked for your birthday a couple then, of years ago. And then the what? Do you, what was it? The surge happened yeah. in the in the COVID. Yeah, and we couldn't go. Yeah, it's, and it's really close to that. Oh, what was what was that restaurant that Gavin Newsom? French got Laundry. At? Yes, it's right next to French Laundry. Uh, okay. It's this cute little bed and breakfast, and I stayed there, oh gosh, maybe like five years ago, back in 2016, I had a Mm -hmm. gift certificate for it, and um, it was one of the best places that I've ever stayed at. It was so good. Wow. Yeah. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's this Airbnb, it has like a French kind of name. Also, Carmel would be nice. Okay. Okay. Carmel and and Monterey and that whole thing. Okay. Is that what your heart long uh, your heart is longing for beach love? But um but um that's what my heart yearns for now. Love and pride. <laughs> that's what my heart yearns for now. Love and pride. <laughs> That was beautiful. Did you like that? That was beautiful. We did that on the fly. That was a band called King. Not to be confused with Queen, there was King, and they had one hit, I think, in 85 or 86, and that was their song. Uh-huh. And I remember in high school, like, a lot of the the girls, uh-huh. the girls in high school, they were like, oh, my God, King, they're, like, so hot. Did you see their music video? And everybody was playing their song all the time. You know, whatever. The only song people remember from that year was "We Built This City" and all that. Oh. Or. Um, Wait, what year was that, love? West and Girls. Boop 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 oh, boop 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 boop. Pet boop, Shop Boys. Eighty-five, eighty-six. I think more like eighty-six. But. I would have been eight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is I an age discrepancy. <laughs> I don't think I was listening to a lot of music on my own. I mean. My family would always have music playing, but 
you know, at that age, you're not really, mm-hmm. unless you're like some little precocious <laughs> effer. <laughs> heifer? Like a like a cow? <laughs> D- yes. Were they running Moogle? Moogle. Okay, so they want to call us and tell us about any tips or yes. what their favorite eighty song is, and don't yes. say "Running Up That Hill" for gosh sakes. That or at least a different Kate Bush song. That what was is your favorite so Kate Bush song? Annoying the kids from Stranger Things that are all like fifteen or whatever, and they're and they ask them, "What's your favorite eighty song?" Oh, "Running Up That Hill" by Kate Bush. Nobody, nobody your age knew who Kate Bush was five minutes ago. It wasn't until that oh. Stranger Things. I love your sounding name voice. one other Kate Bush song they won't know Hounds of Love <laughs> boom, boom. Like it's in the one. trees it's coming but I was a child she has a beautiful song oh. that I love it's called Woman's Work this woman's work oh yeah and it was also I think it's been covered a few times um, what's his name oh god I can't he's an R&B singer uh, the weekend? Not the weekend. No, 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 no. Weathering, um. Oh God, I can't think. Weathering, weathering, weathering. Heathcliff, it's me, your Kathy. I've come, come home, home now. now. So cold. Let me into your window. <laughs> that one. Why wasn't that one the one that scared away the evil Vecna? guy, the Vecna? I don't know. That, was a good that actually would have been appropriate. But then the, the whole co- Weathering Heights kind of like creepy more but the one who's the boyfriend for 11 who's got this kind of a look oh, yeah. he's got this kind of 70s 80s look yeah, about him he and he looks like the lead singer of the darkness uh that had that song to show that to me. one way ticket to hell and back i'm living there in this minute. i don't know that i can't think of that they were really big in england or they were or something but yeah he kind of looks like him but uh he said when he was asked that question, he mentioned a song from the the. The the? The the. What's the the? The the. What's that? They toured with the meters. I don't know that love. No. They were <laughs> I don't have a the the album. They are an English post punk band. Oh. I used Bing. Um okay. and they have been in various forms since nineteen seventy. Matt Johnson is the singer. What? Okay. We will have to listen to the the. Okay. And enjoy the rest of our evening together. But people can chime in at 336 mm daily. That's three plus three equals six mm as in Mike Matthews daily is in what this podcast is. I said chime in. What is another another way of saying that? Oh, God, I, can, I love. Blow your horn. Should I say that? Sure. Wait, I'll say it like this. Blow your horn. Does that work? <laughs> That's great. Okay. Next show, it'll be the wonderful... Uh, who is it going to be on here? We'll, out, outside a cafe anyway. We'll probably have... Oh, Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Oh, ah, okay. Haven't seen them in a while. Lovely lady friend, thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And they can call again at this number. Call now. 336 mm daily 336 mm M-M daily or email me mike's daily podcast at gmail.com happy father's day happy juneteenth happy pride y'all thank you and this podcast will absolutely try to be daily at least today and tomorrow we'll see what happens after that because i'll have to go back to work and deal with all that stuff Ooh. uh Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Who was the guy that sang that Kate Bush song you were thinking of earlier? Maxwell. Maxwell. That's the the guy with the the good uh, upper body. (laughs) Because he no. liked to show it off a lot. That, no. What? No, you're thinking of uh, D'Angelo. Oh! Wait, is Maxwell the guy that's saying somebody's always watching me? No, that's Rockwell. I always feel like somebody's watching me.
That was F episode 2447, my love. That's amazing. 2447. That's love. That was FF episode 2447. Thank you. And you can check out all the other podcasts at mikesdailypodcast.com. <laughs>